G'day everyone, Adam here from Benito. Just gonna give you a quick walkthrough on Yanni's 560cc. Hopefully everyone had a good 2023 Christmas. We're back at it now, building boats. One of the first boats to leave the Benito factory today. Uh, today we're in the mold shop. This one's getting ready to be loaded onto a trailer uh, this afternoon. So if you didn't already know, Benito 560, 5.6 meters overall length from the bow here, not the bow roller, just inside the bow here. It's where the motor bolts at the back. A uh, 2.1 meter beam and um, great stability on these. Nice hull shape, nice deep V in the front. Down there, keel guard down the bottom. Benito bow roller up in the front. Towing out here, bit of the electric motor mount. Anchor well, generous anchor well, absolutely massive. The rigging tube here to uh, go back to the consoles for your electric motors or your anchor winches. Cleat in the front here. Coming inside the boat, got a large cast platform. This is the 620, 660 cast platform, first one fitted in a 560 and it's come up an absolute treat absolutely massive great storage i'll show you in a second as we jump up inside all non-skidded coming down got the uh non-skidded floor yanni's opted for a white with gray fleck which has come up a treat floors the same white undercoat to match so it all ties in beautifully large console now we've got the 620, 660 seat box is fitted in the 560. You can fit two people in here and tons of storage. I'll show you in a moment as I jump up and inside. Bait board, bait tanks fitted. Nice big motor well rated for 150 horsepower as standard. Down in the back, with the fuel filling point, this particular boat's fitted with a 190 litre fuel tank. Got the twin transom steps, one on each side. Down the back again, another life well. All right, I'll jump up on inside and show you the internal layout. Alrighty, we're inside now. Let's give you a quick look at the cast platform from the inside of the boat. So you've got a massive macro box and storage up in front. Let's open it up really quick. Two latches, heavy duty. Stainless steel spring holder, holds up the lid, all insulated. This is absolutely massive. I could lie down and fit in here. It is huge. Uh, so it stretches from the full width of the hull all the way across underneath. Fully fiberglassed in, just like the hulls and decks. So it becomes a structural part of the boat. Awesome place to stand and cast. Nice and easy to collapse the lid. Just pull that down. Drop it. There you go. Lid's closed. Locks down. Stainless steel drains. You can see how deep the gutters are there. Absolutely massive. Plenty of space to walk between the console and the cast platform. Console, grab rail and windscreen are standard. High drive hydraulic steering kit. Sting stainless steel steering wheel. The view from the seat is awesome. These are so comfortable. Uh, inside the console, you've got two rigging tubes down below. Battery tray here for Yanni and your two, con two console shelves. So Tons of storage inside the console seat. These flip back and forth. Both ways. So we come down the back. We've got the new bait board. Fitted a handful of these so far. These are great. Tons of storage inside for bait, knives, etc. And your little nooks and crannies here for your hooks or sinkers. It's using throughout there. Perfect height. It's above, it's in the middle of my waist. Couple of rod holders fitted here. You could fit more cup holders or more rod holders. Show you the bait tank again. Down the back, got the bilge system with a through hull transducer recess. So at any point you could fit a through hull transducer down the back or at least access it in the future if you want to change it out for a different one. Rigging tube outlet here for where all your accessories come for your outboard. Um, in the seat box, you'll notice we've got a hatch for storage. So this is all dry storage. Um, this is a big blank canvas. So you'll see in the next boat, one of the next boats, we've got the access hatch on the side, door, 
Um, you see in the past, we've done tackle storage trays in the side. Uh, we could cut the back out even and fit an esky in underneath or jerry cans or whatever you'd like. Uh, it's blank canvas, endless opportunity and options here. So just open it up and show you inside, all perfectly finished off. Tons of storage in here. Great place to put all your safety gear, dish and tackle, you name it, it'll fit in there. This boat's come up an absolute, absolute treat. Yanni's Optivide, op, op, uh, gone with no side pockets. Um, so you'll see there's tons of room down the side for rod storage or gaff racks with the pads here on the sides. Over on this side, uh, we've fitted up on, into the cast platform some rod storage tubes. So you can have all your long rods that go right up in there. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in a Benito, we build 5 meters, 560s, just like this one you see here. 6.2, 660s, plenty more coming in 2024. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on any of the Benito updates. Thanks for watching and um, numbers 0426 260 on 5 if you're interested in um, giving us a call about having a look at a Benito for yourself. Uh, thanks Yanni, looking forward to seeing you fill up the esky full of fish and we'll see you out on the water.